the Lake District. A picturesque landscape, but perhaps not as wild as it seems. Much of the national park is dominated by agriculture and centuries of grazing have had an impact on biodiversity. However, at Horswater Reservoir in a lesser known corner of the lakes, the RSPB are working with landowner United Utilities to find a new approach. The project began in 2012 when the RSPB took over the farms of Laddle and Swindale, starting a new chapter for this landscape. This presented a unique opportunity to trial different ways of managing upland farms such as these and explore how nature conservation can work alongside farming. Horswater boasts a range of habitats. and is home to a host of upland wildlife. Wildlife has been invited back in a number of ways. Swindale Beck, a river on the site, has been transformed. Around 200 years ago, the river was straightened to create more farmland. And while this benefited farming, it was bad news for wildlife. The ambitious restoration project, completed in 2016, restored the river to something like its original winding course, providing benefits for both people and wildlife. The new curve slowed the river's flow, reducing downstream flood risk, allowing gravel banks to form and attracting salmon back to the beck for spawning. During periods of high rainfall, the beck now spills over into the floodplain meadows. This more natural flooding regime, alongside changes to grazing, means that these colourful wildflower meadows are thriving. A rich diversity of flora providing nectar for bees, moths and butterflies, and other pollinators. Horswater streams are also an important habitat for other wildlife. A dipper, the UK's only aquatic songbird. These charming birds spend their lives near fast-flowing upland streams such as this one that winds through the woodland. Dippers get their name from their distinctive behaviour bobbing up and down on rocks and dipping into the water in search of prey. Their diet consists of aquatic insects, such as mayflies and their larvae. It's mid-June, and having already fledged her brood, this mother is enjoying her newfound freedom. Further downstream, her newly fledged chick is learning to hunt for himself, stretching his wings in preparation. Under the water, these delicate wings will act as oars to direct the water's flow. The chick hasn't mastered diving yet, preferring to stick to the surface, plucking snacks as they drift past in the flowing water. Dipper numbers have fallen by 30% in the last 30 years, so the RSPB's work managing and protecting these unique habitats is vital to their survival. Horswater is the most important reservoir in the northwest region. The reservoir was once two natural lakes before the construction of the controversial dam in 1929. The creation of the dam meant the farming villages of Mardale and Meesand were lost under the water's depths. The reservoir's draw-off tower is all that remains, built from stone salvaged from the villages. The 
four mile long reservoir now holds 84 billion litres of water and provides about a quarter of the Northwest's drinking water supply. The RSPB and United Utilities are working with nature to improve the reservoir's water quality. Tens of thousands of trees have been planted across the site since 2010. Their roots will help to stabilise soil, preventing erosion, and in turn providing cleaner drinking water for people and a richer habitat for wildlife. As the trees grow, the new woodland will become home to a range of species. Nadal Farm sits at the east of the reservoir and the forest here is alive with life. Once widespread, red squirrels are now only found in a few corners of the UK, outcompeted by invasive greys. Here at Horswater, grey squirrel numbers are controlled so the endangered reds are thriving and the newly planted woodlands on the site will give populations the chance to grow in the future. This juvenile red squirrel was born in spring and is just setting out on his own. Squirrel kits are weaned at around 10 weeks and at this time in June the young males disperse to establish territories of their own. Adult red squirrels are masters of treetop acrobatics. But the youngster is still finding his feet, finding his way, but most importantly, finding food. Upland woodlands are essential for birds too. From commonly seen species to rarer ones such as red starts and pied flycatchers. These elusive birds are summer visitors travelling from Africa in spring to breed. Both of these species have suffered recent declines with pied flycatcher populations falling by as much as 50% in the last 25 years. These species are thriving at Horswater thanks to careful woodland management and new planting. This pair of pied flycatchers have built their nest in a small hole in a tree. Both adults take turns feeding their young and the chicks will depend on them until fledging at around 16 days old. Once they have bred, the birds will spend the summer fattening up on local insects before flying south to spend the winter in warmer climes. The fells around Horswater provide a mosaic of habitats for a range of species, such as meadow pipits and the striking wheat ear. These rocky pastures are vital for wheat ear, finding nest sites between boulders and hunting for insects in the surrounding grassland. These commons were in poor shape from years of overgrazing by sheep, but by reducing livestock numbers and fencing off areas of the reserve, the habitat is starting to recover. This work is improving the landscape for wildlife and is allowing rare mountain plants to recolonize the area, such as wild thyme, downy willow, mossy saxifrage and roseroot. The RSPB are demonstrating how a more sustainable approach to upland farming is as good for the environment as it is for farm businesses. This approach has helped to make the landscape more resilient while still producing high quality livestock, showing how farming and conservation can work together. 
Horsewater shows that we can change how land is looked after to provide benefits for both people and wildlife. Reducing flood risk, improving drinking water quality and protecting species. Horsewater presents a vision of hope, breathing life back into the secluded corner of the Lake District. We hope to inspire others to apply these more natural approaches elsewhere to make the lakes wild once more. <laughs>